welcome back in this session we can see the roadmap of gcp cloud engineer you need to follow the chapters as like this gcp infrastructure you need to know what is that identity and access management very important see for example uh, you have a team i am a cloud engineer in your team you have some couple of uh, uh, developers are there testers are there they need to access your console gcp console you need to provide proper access that is called identity access management then cloud sdk is like nothing but um, in your local in your local computer you can execute the commands with using g cloud commands okay that is the thing then compute engine google compute engine is nothing but you can create a vms that is called ias okay ias service compute engine for your applications that is the thing then instance group instance group what is that in that instance group we have managed instance unmanaged instance we'll see one by one then google cloud storage what is that after that you need to know encryption how you can encrypt the data how you can encrypt the content what you need that is very important later on you need to know networking virtual networking we have vpc like that couple of networking concepts are there you need to follow that after that load balancing what type of load balancers we have okay global load balancer we have like that simple example i am saying http https tcp proxy like that load balancers we have to go with that we need to know next cloud sql very important cloud sql means how you can configure mysql database how you can configure postgres how you can able to configure sql server that we are going to see in 10th chapter 11th cloud file store what is meant by cloud file store in which basis you can use that cloud spanner what is that cloud spanner is horizontal scaling cloud sql is vertical scaling but it is costly okay then what is meant by advanced internet networking advanced level you need to know that how to connect on premises to your gcp cloud or aws to gcp cloud then kubernetes engine that is very important concept 15 gke what is that what is the use of gke kubernetes we are looking into that that we need to know advanced level this is to crack the job for cloud engineers for example 3 years or 4 years they can able to do that all those things all those things you need to write in a code that we'll call it as a terraform that terraform i'll be discussing in separate playlist you can go with and verify everything how i can create a vm how i can create a networking how i can create a cloud sql with using terraform you can see that this is more than enough for your cloud engineer concept internally we have please follow and subscribe to my channel then you will get regular updates one by one you can finish the course content easily you can able to crack your the job in cloud engineer without anybody's help then some people are looking devops azure devops like that we have devops here gcp devops also there Uh, that is also i am giving in another playlist go and verify in my channel and you can find out that and later on gcp data engineering this is for 
who are working on SQL, who are working on data warehousing, that will be useful. I am expert in database because I have more than lot of years of experience in MySQL, SQL Server. That is the thing. This is who are working into database related with help of SQLs, they can go with data engineering. No, I don't want. I want to go with GCP DevOps. Yes, that is also different course. In coming video, I'll show you what are the streams we have in GCP. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my daddy's channel for regular updates. Click on bell icon.